On a small narrow thorny path towards Tadagam Reserve Forest close to Coimbatore's Puchiyur village there is a fresh mound that villagers call Rajava Podachayadam the place where Raja has been buried Raja is a common respectful way to address elephants in the forest regions On March 25th a wild elephant was electrocuted to death He is the fifth elephant to die in Tamil Nadu by electrocution in 20 days between March 7th and March 25th. For the villagers, Raja's death was a bitter reminder of the man-animal conflict they have to live with. Over the past two decades, human-animal conflict over shrinking spaces, forests and expanding villages has been a conundrum. Villagers of Pochiyur in Coimbatore district on March 25th gave a send-off to a male elephant which died on the outskirts of the village. We are currently standing at the Taragam Reserve Forest area and this falls under the Perianayakam Palayam Forest Range in Coimbatore. And what was seen on March 25th was a wild elephant from the Taragam Reserve Forest area had tried making its way towards Pochiyur. But unfortunately, while entering a private land, the elephant is said to have rubbed itself on a cement pole which had an electric wire on it. The electric pole fell on the elephant and electrocuted it to death immediately. The villagers in the region who had noticed the incident immediately informed the electricity board as well as the forest range officials. A uh, autopsy was conducted on the elephant and later that day it was seen that the villagers had gathered outside the village and had showered flowers laid garlands and finally had buried the elephant to rest this is the fifth electrocution that has happened in the state of tamil nadu and it has raised concern about the kind of scenario in which people living closer to the forest area are facing the difficulties that the elephants as well as other animals which are living in the foothills of these forest ranges are facing koyilukku poosari poosa pandrukku malaiku poi irukanga avanga poittu poosa panna poittu varumbodhu yana kaattukulla kidandhu paathirukanga adu paathittu oorukulla vandhu indha mari yana irandiruchu current kambathula adipatte appdin solli sonnanga adu sonnadukapra naanga la inge irundhu poi paatha current kambu mele irundhu appdi saanjiruchu keela porasi irukum pol adhula poi Like Raja, four other elephants died due to electrocution in March this year in Tamil Nadu. On March 7th, at Kalli Kavindar Kote in Dharmapuri district, over 240 kilometers from Poochiyur, three elephants were electrocuted by an electric fence at a field. The farmer who had illegally set up the electric fencing to prevent wild boars from entering into the farm was arrested the same day. Barely 10 days later on 18th March a wild elephant that was being chased away from Kelavalli village by forest department staff in Dharmapuri died when it touched a live wire while trying to climb an elevated land the entire incident was caught on camera the criss crossing policies of development land rights of forest dwellers and inviolate elephant corridors are all at odds with each other According to the data from the Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, since 2019, 29 elephant deaths have taken place due to electrocution in Tamil Nadu. During the same period, 152 human beings have been killed in the state due to elephant attacks. Nilgiri, Krishnagiri, Coimbatore, Dharmapuri, Erode, Tirupur, Dindigul are where the conflict plays out with depressing regularity. Three days after Raja's death, Supriya Sahu, Additional Chief Secretary with the Tamil Nadu Government's Environment, Climate Change and Forest Department, shared videos on social media handles showing forest officials patrolling forest fringe areas to check for traps, snares, illegal fences and country weapons stashed away by poachers. Over an hour away from Coimbatore city, at the picturesque hills of Anaikatti, which literally translate to a group of elephants there are multiple sign boards that say elephants have right of way do not obstruct or do not disturb wild animals appo valakama epomu kaalaila nerathula kudikka povanga kudikkum bodu thirumbi varum bodu sadana edirpa avarkum theriyilla dilil idu mari ana edirpa edira vandu idu mari anadu Marudachalam's death became a statistic from the other side of the conflict. He is among 5 people killed so far this year in the Coimbatore division due to an elephant attack. 
In 2022, the Coimbatore division had only witnessed five deaths the whole year. Three years back, at Anekati, one night, one elephant literally knocked on M. Rajamani's door in the dead of night. Roused from her sleep, she opened the door to find a gigantic elephant standing outside. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 Rajamani survived the encounter, but her brother, Marudajalam, wasn't so fortunate. On the day Marudajalam died, another farmer, P. Mahesh Kumar, who lived just 5 kilometers away, was also killed by an elephant on his farm. விவசாயம் செய்யக்கூடிய மக்கள் அனைவருமே வந்து எண்பது சதவீதம் வறுமை கோட்டின் கீழ் தான் இன்னும் வாழ்ந்துட்டு இருக்காங்க அப்படிங்கிறது தான் உண்மைங்க கஷ்டப்பட்டு நம்ம விவசாயம் செஞ்சு இருந்துட்டு இருக்கிற ஒரு சூழ்நிலையில இந்த மாதிரி யானைகள் காட்டு விலங்குகள் எல்லாம் வந்து நஷ்டத்தை ஏற்படுத்துறப்போ முதல்ல வந்து பயிர் மட்டும்தான் சேதமாயிட்டு இருந்தது இப்ப வந்து உடைமைகள் உயிர் எல்லாமே சேதப்படுத்துது அதாவது வந்து நம்ம வீட்டில் வந்து அரிசி பருப்பு வச்சுருந்தால் கூட ஓட்டு வீடெல்லாம் இருக்கிறப்ப சாதாரணமாக வந்து தும்பிக்கையை உள்ளே விட்டு எடுத்து அது டேமேஜ் பண்ணிட்டு போயிட்டு இருக்குங்க அந்த மாதிரி ஃபார் எலிஃபென்ட்ஸ் த பவுண்டி ஃப்ரம் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் இஸ் அன் இர்ரெசிஸ்டபிள் ஃபீஸ்ட் ஃபார்மர்ஸ் நியர் த ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஏரியா ஆர் நோன் டு ப்ரிவெண்ட் அனிமல் இன்ட்ரூஷன் ஆன் தி லேண்ட்ஸ் பை இந்த கிரியேட்டிங் கேவிட்டிஸ் டிகிங் த கிரவுண்ட் அரவுண்ட் த ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஸ் அ பேரியர் டு ப்ரிவெண்ட் த அனிமல் என்ட்ரி ஆர் பை யூசிங் எலக்ட்ரிக் ஃபென்சிங் In an attempt to pacify villagers while protecting wildlife, the Tamil Nadu government allows farmers to install electric fences that can pulsate current. A forest official talking to the print said, this only gives a small shock enough as a warning to the animal to move away without causing any major harm. Uh, there is no rule, there is no act, there is no GO, nothing is there. It's all only orally they will tell. so uh, uh, that can uh, that cannot be implemented mm. and even if there is an altri fence over there you you cannot go and break it cut down or remove it because you don't have any uh, right over the private land you cannot enter the private premises okay unless there is a while of death yeah. uh, that means it is not proactive only reactive only after the death they will go and uh, attend that Over the years the human animal relationship is changing with or giving away to tolerance which is ultimately replaced with rage the due to urbanization we keep moving towards forest and the forest areas are not expanding anywhere and they are stable they are, they lie there for uh, uh, they have been declared by the british they have not grown after that so british period they declare these are the forest boundaries after that they have not grown so we whereas the patta lands where people uh, are the owners have becoming slowly urbanized uh, the farm lands in which the elephants used to travel without any problem are now being guarded uh, by electric fences and also are getting in, transferred into other land use changes like uh, urbanization uh, and then here at naikampalayam in the foothills of katanji hills and what we can see here is that initially which were proper forest areas have been now sites of mining for red sands and all these areas we can now see that a deep denches and craters are being formed all across this area and this is a stretch of around 20 kilometers and villagers and environmentalists in the region say that these kind of mining activities are also the reason for animals venturing into the village area where people live urukulla manida manida mizam bodangal idu varaikum nadandha illa ivanga man kanima vala kollekaragal manal eduthadnalada reyana urukulla vandu payigal nasapudu according to officials from the anai malai tiger reserve in the year 2022 compensation worth rupees 2 crore was given to over 200 farmers for crop loss in the region Similarly, compensation for casualties due to elephant attack was also given to the next of kin. For Patti Suran, compensation is important, but he hopes the recent incidents are a wake-up call for forest officials to ensure stricter monitoring. In the in the era, we have seen that the case is not only parallel. In this case, that is, in this case. வேறு ஆளுக்கு இது மாதிரி பாதிப்பு வரக்கூடாது அதுக்கு தந்த மாதிரி பார்த்து பண்ணி தந்தால் போதும் Well, authorities are trying to do all that they can to avoid a man-animal conflict 
villagers in Puchio fear that the next encounter might cost them another life. However, a tearful tribute was given to Raja by laying garlands and flowers by the villagers of Pochiur. From Coimbatore, this is Akshya Nath, Senior Assistant Editor for The Print.